It's 18 on your Monday morning, and should you be worried because you misplaced your keys or bumped into, what's your name again? Yeah, is this dementia or simply a senior moment? I ask myself that all the time. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we're learning more about dementia with Dr. Gina Fujikami, geriatrician at the Queens Medical Center. Thank you so much, doctor, for coming in this morning. Thank you. Now, first off, just in general, what is dementia? Because I think a lot of people get confused with dementia right. or Alzheimer's. Right, so dementia is consists of memory problems that's not typical for yourself and causes impairment on your function. And so I think of dementia as an umbrella term consisting of many different types. And the most common is Alzheimer's dementia. And, you know, unfortunately here in America, um, about 5.8 million Americans are affected um, with Alzheimer's dementia, equating to about 10% of our seniors over the age of 65. And because of the aging population, um, this number is expected to drastically increase over the next 30 years to 14 million people by 2050. And what are the signs? Should you be worried? I know we have a picture here because yeah. like, I'm always worried like, hey, I missed something. <laughs> uh, what's your name again? Right. We all do that. And I think that's common. And so I think a lot of people grapple with what's normal aging, right, versus what should we really be um, worried about. And so the picture back here just shows this is your typical normal brain here, very healthy looking. But in patients who have dementia, there's a lot of shrinkage of the brain. A lot of these, what we call ventricles or holes, tend to um, become bigger. And so that's signs of Alzheimer's dementia. And so what are some symptoms? So again, memory problems that are not typical for you. So I have patients that tell me they get lost driving mm -hmm. in their neighborhood. Or they ask the same question multiple um, times um, within a span of a few minutes. And even um, I have a few patients who, unfortunately, their water gets shut off because they forget to pay their utility bills. So um, things like memory problems severe enough to really affect your day-to-day -day function. So what should you do if you think you have dementia or you think a family member might mm -hmm. have dementia? Yeah, so number one is to see your primary care physician. Um, he or she knows you the best um, and can initiate the workup, and which may eventually lead to a referral to a specialist, such as a geriatrician like myself or a neurologist. Um, also making sure your medical problems are under control. So we know that having high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes um, can affect, uh, increase your risk of having dementia. And so your primary care physician can help with that. And I can't emphasize enough with my patients the importance of exercise. So okay. physical and mental exercises. A lot of my patients play bingo um, or do Sudoku, and they're much better than I am. Um, other things are good sleep, which we all struggle with, um, as well as a healthy diet. It's all about keeping the mind sharp, right? It is, it is. <laughs> yeah, and being really good about that and persistent. All right, now to learn more about dementia, you can watch a recorded Queen Speak of Health lecture featuring Dr. Gina Fujikami. It's called Deciphering Dementia, Screening, Diagnosis, and Treatment. Now, the recording will be posted in early May at youtube.com backslash QMCHA Hawaii and click on Speaking of Health. Dr. Fujikami, thank you so much for joining us thank this you. morning. A very interesting and very relevant topic here in Hawaii.